We'll have that when we come back. From this day henceforth, throughout the world, let all who hear your name and view your presence pay homage with dignity, respect, and honor to you. The undisputed champion, royal majesty, and king of the heavyweight world. Long live the heavyweight king. Long live the king. Presents an evening of world championship boxing. This bout is sanctioned by the WBC, the WBA, and the IBF, and by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, Elias Ghanem, chairman. The commissioners at ringside this evening are Dr. James Nave, Dwayne Ford, Freddie Little, and Jay Nady. The executive director is Chuck Minker. This fight sanctioned by the WBC, Jose Suleiman, president, the supervisor, James Nave. By the International Boxing Federation, Bobby Lee, president, Al Goodman, supervisor, and by the WBA, President Gilberto Mendoza, and the supervisors are Dr. James Nave and Santiago Chicas. The officials are signed by the governing bodies for the next bout of the evening. The judges are Jerry Roth of Las Vegas, Omar Mintun of Mexico, Rodolfo Maldonado of Panama. The timekeeper is Mike Lachella, counting into nightdowns, Mike Morabito. The attending physicians at ringside, Drs. Flip Omansky, Donald Romeo, and James Game. And your referee is Richard Steele. This is the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the undisputed heavyweight championship of the world. Introducing, in the blue corner, fighting out of London, England, Weighing in at 228 pounds, or 16 stone, four pounds, with a professional record of 32 wins, two defeats, with 31 KOs. Ladies and gentlemen, he is rated number world in the world by the WBC. He is the challenger, Frank Bruno. And in the red corner, from Catskill, New York, weighing 15 stone, eight pounds, or 218 pounds. He is undefeated in his professional career. 35 wins, 31 KOs. He is the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. All right, they get called to the center of the ring. Let's listen to Richard Steele. They instructions in the dress room. I'm cautioning again. Obey my commands at all times. Is there any questions? Shake hands. Good luck. There's the stair. We're just about set to go. The undisputed heavyweight championship of the world on the line. Mike is giving away three and a half inches in height. He's giving away 10 pounds in weight. He's five years younger, and he's giving up 11 inches in reach. Some say he has the same disadvantage as a lion going against the zebra. And I'd have to agree. Let's see how quick he starts. Bruno tries to keep him off. Bruno's showing that he's not afraid. Hanging on. Bruno's already tagged with the right hand. And there goes Bruno for the first time in the fight. The first right hand that caught him, he went down. He'll have to take the standing eight count. Bruno's clear, but he knows the power of Mike Tyson. Tyson, if ever there was a guy fighting like a raging bull, it's Mike Tyson. Bruno has all the pride of England standing for him. He get tagged again by a right hand. He's trying to hang on to Mike and hit. Mike is just looking for an opportunity to cut loose, and Richard Steele warns Frank Bruno about hanging on and hitting Mike Tyson. Tyson pummels him with the right hand. Mike trying to set him up with the left hand. Bruno looks a little wobbly already. Right hand misses Frank Bruno. Bruno has come to try and mix it up. He's hanging on to the head of Tyson. Tyson not affected by any of these blows at all. Tyson just looking to set his man up. He's back in the assault. He tries to reach him inside with a short, crisp shot. Bruno ties him up inside. Again, Richard Steele warns Frank Bruno about hanging on and hitting. Bruno's already been down in round number one. Tyson hit with a light left hand. Doesn't do anything to him. Tyson back up bouncing. Well, all the questions about distractions have been answered as Tyson attacks. Bruno doing everything he can to try to attack this 
guy. Don't forget, he's from a very rough area in London. And to be honest with you, a lot of people are thrilled to see this guy making some sort of fight of it. Blood is really coming from the no uh, nose of Frank Bruno. And you can see that there's been a point taken away. I don't think points will mean anything by the time this fight's over. But Frank Bruno is trying to make a fight of it. He's hanging on, but Tyson is certainly getting the best of it. He's bleeding from the nose. He was down in the very early seconds as Tyson nails him with the uppercut. Now Frank comes very slowly across the ring. He knows he's in with the ball. Tyson gets nailed with a left hook. Tyson looks wobbly as he attacks Bruno. Bruno continues to throw. Tyson was caught and wobbled. Tyson looks clear, but he was caught by a shot by Frank Bruno. Tyson trying to fight back, and Bruno did catch him with a shot. That's the first time I've seen anything like Tyson staggered. Tyson was definitely sit back in his tracks there. Inside of 20 seconds to go in the round, Bruno has got him tied up. Mike Tyson doesn't seem to have that fiery look in his eyes right now as he lunges for the challenger. Inside of 10 seconds to go, as you see. Let's go, Frank. A bell ends, round number one, and the crowd loves it. So Bruno went down but not hurt, and Bruno tagged Tyson and did hurt him. Watch this now, and let's see just how it happened. There was a short right hand that caught Bruno. He was wobbled, and then another right hand kind of up over the shoulder got him off balance. And you notice Tyson never stopped swinging. There's the short right that has him in trouble. Right now, he's he's wobbled on his legs. And then it's up in the top of the back of the head. But he's not hurt here at all. And then, of course, Richard Steele moves in. And there's the right hand that caught Tyson and buckled his legs. And that's the first time we've seen him in an awkward position. Here's Tyson moving in. It'll be interesting to see if he's like a wild man in round two. And it looks like he's ready to be a wild man in round two. So Frank Bruno came to fight. Surprised Tyson by catching him in the first round. He's nailed again with that inside right hand. Bruno vulnerable to that right hand in close. Tyson continues to come in. Bruno continues to hang on when he does come in. We wanted to take time to welcome all our friends in Australia, New Zealand, and people watching all over the world. But the fight's been so fast and so exciting, it's hard to do that. But a special hello to Chris Myrams in Wellington, New Zealand, and all of the brothers and sisters, and especially David Fox, our producer, his sister, who's also watching in New Zealand. Welcome, New Zealand and Australia. People all over Africa, the Middle East, we're thrilled to have you on the Mike Tyson Network here. Bob Sheridan bringing this fight to you and hope that you're enjoying the fast pace. Frank Bruno came to fight. He was down for just a second in the first round and the chant from the better than 5,000 British subjects that are here cheering for Bruno to do something against Tyson. Bruno, of course, has a magnificent body Tag with a short, crisp right hand in the first round, which made us all think, well, that's what all was going to happen. But then Bruno suddenly Punch caught Mike Tyson with a shot in the first round. Tyson looking for the shot to the body and then to deliver that right hand to the head. Right now, the superior height and the long reach of Frank Bruno seems to be working to his advantage. But Tyson doesn't get frustrated. He just looks to throw the shot. Bruno was able to block that shot that time. You see Frank continuing to hold with a left hand behind the head of Mike Tyson. Left hook to the body. Tyson attacks with a left of his own. He catches Bruno with a nice left uppercut. This infighting here, Bruno's a very strong guy himself. Don't forget, he has 30 knockouts and 32 wins himself, so he can't punch. Tyson misses wild with the left uppercut. Come on, work it out. Come on, Frank. So far, the big heavy blow. Bruno's been able to escape. The right hand catches Bruno. Left hook. Bruno looks ready to go. 
Now is when he's gonna hang on. And he does. He has the ring sense and wherewithal to hang on. Tyson knows that he can catch up with Bruno right now. Bruno trying to keep him up. And the bell ends round number two. And here we go with round three. A lot of people didn't expect it to go this far. In fact, for the betting public, round three is an important round. The over and under is round three for this fight. So if the fight goes beyond round three, there'll be a lot of happy people that pick four and above. Of course, this is the betting capital of the world, and people are interested in that around here. You people watching around the world, we've seen a better fight than we expected so far. You get the idea that Mike Tyson will catch up with Frank Bruno, and your heart's almost with Frank to hope he can make a good fight of it. Frank Bruno, the big, almost chiseled cut body in such magnificent shape. Big, vicious body shot taken right underneath the heart of Frank Bruno. Tyson really punished his body with that shot. Didn't seem to bother Bruno, though. Bruno is going to stop pouring with that left hand and get a punch off. Mike catches him with a good left hook, and Bruno has the wherewithal to hang on to him. Both guys hanging on with the kind of the right arm and wailing away with the other hand. Tyson, lightning, lightning hands, looking for the opportunity to land that right hand on the chin of Frank Bruno. And again, you just have the feeling it's a matter of time. And it's not that Tyson's toying with him. It's that Tyson is looking for the opportunity. Don't forget, Bruno did catch Tyson in the first round with a pretty good shot. Come on, Park, take it out. No hold it, Frank. Bruno has got to throw some heavier stuff, though. He's parring with the left hand. He's got to let the right hand fly. He's got to double with that jab. What he's satisfied to do is to kind of hang on to the head and kind of par at him with his right hand. He's got to try and get off with that right hand better. Tyson with a short assault, nothing there. Tyson has a lot of movement where Frank Bruno is just kind of a stand-up guy, almost tailor-made for Tyson. That time he caught him with a body on, shot. The height to advantage that Bruno has and the reach advantage it really is an advantage to Frank Bruno, but again, you still get the idea that it's a question of time before Mike catches him. There's some real good shots there, not catching flush, but nonetheless scoring. Mike Tyson is in control of the fight, and Bruno, if he hopes to win, has got to let that right hand fly. Go home, Frank. Go home. Bruno's idea is to try and get this guy inside, and as soon as he comes in and hits him, hang on to him. There's a little bit more gain than Bone Crusher Smith was in his fight. Bruno at no stage inside is going to give Tyson both hands free. They continue to fight after the bell. Tyson really has a look of uh, annoyance on his face and he has no intentions of doing anything but trying to control this guy as best he can. Vicious looking guy, look at him. A fighter cannot be saved by the bell as the big right hand lands. Tyson knows he's got him in big trouble. If he doesn't answer it, Richard Steele has moved in and has stopped the fight. Don't walk straight in. That's what he's waiting for. Finish him off. Right hand, left foot, right hand, left foot, right hand, left foot. All right. Now use a lot of seven to get in here. Stay inside. All right, stay inside. Be mean in the inside. Be mean to start digging them body stuff. That's Aaron Snowell working the corner of Mike Tyson. Don't forget, Tyson has a whole new corner. Aaron Snowell, Jay Bright, and Taylor Smith. Terry Lawless and George Francis, the keys. All right, here we go, round four. Bob Sheridan here. It looks like Bruno could be hurt a bit. Tyson just really bores in like a madman almost. Frank has got to start throwing that right hand. Tyson is almost measuring him now. Again, this is round four. It's scheduled 4-12. A lot of 
people didn't think we'd get to the fourth round in this fight. If you've just joined us for one reason or another, Frank Bruno was down in the first round, but it wasn't a serious knockdown. He wasn't wobbled, really hurt at all. And then he later caught Mike Tyson, and for the first time in his career, I saw Tyson a little wobbly on his legs. But he recovered from that in fine shape. And then Richard Steele had to take a point away as well in the first round from Bruno by hanging on the roll. Watch it, get out. You're holding Let's work this out and get out. Great. Stop so it would have been a 10-8 round. Would have to be scored 10-7. And that puts Tyson way out in front in the fight. Bruno is caught by a right hand and a left hook. Bruno comes back and he catches Tyson. Right hand cut Bruno right in the forehead, followed up by the left hook. Bruno has got to throw that right hand more and try to catch Tyson with a left hook. Come on, punch it out. He seems to be satisfied to let Tyson bore in on him and just hold him. Vicious body shot. Keep punching this side of it's those body let shots go, that Tyson go. is able to score Get that has softened back, up right. so many of an opponent before. On, Bruno does not seem to be oh, intimidated. Right. His fight plan on, is it. to try to frustrate Tyson as much as he can by hanging on to him, by tying him up when he comes inside. That light, oh, another right hand gets through. Come on, punch it, get out of here. Get your arms back, pull him back. Come on, Mike, pull your arms back and punch it, out. Let's go, Frank. Richard Steele, the third man in the ring, doing an excellent job considering the style that Bruno is fighting here. Bruno again lets Tyson come in, and again he hangs on. Very tough fight to referee the way Bruno's fighting it. But Tyson doesn't get frustrated. He just goes about his business of trying to win each round. Bruno is such a much bigger figure than Mike Tyson, but Tyson is just so strong, and his hands are so quick. Uppercut comes that time. We're in the closing seconds now of round four. The bell ends round number four, and the crowd in England loves it. And welcome back. Brian Kenny back here with you in Brooklyn. I'm here at Gleason's Gym for ESPN Classics Mike Tyson Marathon. Coming up, we'll have the conclusion of 1989's Tyson Bruno 1 from Las Vegas. And in the next hour, stay tuned for Tyson's historic title bout against Buster Douglas from Japan's Tokyo Dome. And we'll also be checking back in with Bert Sugar and Tyson's former trainer Teddy Atlas for analysis and anecdotes. This is Ringside Mike Tyson on ESPN Classic. This man, Frank Bruno, gains a little bit more confidence. All right, here we go with round number five. And Tyson attacks immediately. Come on, punch it, get out of there. Remember, Bruin, uh, Bruno was doing a pretty good job uh, throughout a good portion of the fight against Tim Witherspoon, and it was in the later rounds that, you know, those big heavy muscles begin to catch up with him. Tyson's a big, strong guy, too, but we know he can go the 12. His last time out against Bugner, Bruno had to go eight rounds. Before that, he went eight against Reggie Gross and Marbella. Tyson, on the other hand, one round his last time out against Michael Spinks. And he hasn't fought since June. We're in round five, an area where many a boxing observer never thought we'd be. Most people thought this thing would end in round one or two. So Bruno attempting to make a better fight of this than most people thought possible. He's lost every round, make no mistake about that. Last one, last one. Richard Steele continues to warn Bruno about hanging on and hitting. Punching it out! Punching it out! Punching it out! Punching it out! As you watch the fight, I know that you folks watching at home 
that Mike Tyson is so strong, but you almost feel for Bruno. You want to see him do well against the champion. He throws the right hand, and every time on, that Frank Bruno right. does the slightest thing good, the crowd here really roars. This place seats about eight or 9,000 here at the Hill Hotel. Bruno was caught that time, and Tyson knows it. Tyson trying to attack now to finish him off. Bruno has the wherewithal to hang on. The uppercut comes. Tyson gives him room to come off the ropes. Scores with the uppercut. Lance, a big right hand. Bruno's in big trouble now. He's ready to go. He hits him with the right hand. Bruno trying to hang on as best he can. He's still in big trouble. The uppercut catches him. The right hand catches him. He's really being hit now. Blood coming from the nose. His eyes are puffy. Tyson is punishing Frank Bruno right now. Bruno tries to hang on. Probably what he should do is get down to his knee and take an eight count instead of letting this guy nail him with a flush right hand. This is round five. Remember, a fighter cannot be saved by the bell as the big right hand lands. Tyson knows he's got him in big trouble. If he doesn't answer it, Richard Steele has moved in and has stopped the fight. It's all over. Michael Tyson wins on a fifth round. TKO. It came at 255. That's unofficial. We'll get that officially. It came at 255 of the fifth round. Mike Tyson punish and pummeling Frank Bruno. Thank you. Thank you. Bruno did the best he could do to make a go of it. But there was no question Mike Tyson a superior fighter.